What up, everybody? It's your boy, Bill Shocker, the Nice Age Hedgehog, here with our RGBL movie recap for the season. If you guys are excited for this recap, hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new. Join the Bill Shocker crew today, because you'll be filling with the king of the crew. So, you guys all know, I did do the RGBL draft analysis, and then I didn't upload a single video. I had all the videos planned. But again, they got kin stacked and everything like that. So like I said, in the BBL one, once I've recorded or a video or two or something like that for you guys that I had already posted, I'm going to give you guys a recap video of all that. I think this is the last and only other recap video I need to give you guys, I'm pretty sure. But with that being said, um, before we get into the recap video, I'm going to probably say at the end of the video as well, but I am here to announce that I will not be returning for the RGBL next season. Um, for those of you who know, there's just been so much hacks and RNG in this league for me. Like, almost every single, pretty much I think every single season I have been in, there have been some games where I am literally screwed over. Like, I don't mind losing to being outplayed and just outprepped and stuff like that. But when I lose to hacks and RNG so many times, like if you guys remember the finals that we uploaded of RGBL, I think was the... Two seasons ago, we literally lost a game on a turn one Willow Smith. That literally cost us the game and really hurt us. So definitely something to know with that. So I will be a re I will be willing to be a replacement sub coach for the league, but I'm not returning next season for it. I might come back the season after. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I just think I need a break from this league just because the hacks and RNG is just too much and there's too much hurting on my mental state with Pokemon and stuff like that. So, Anyways, we're going to give you guys a recap of the season. Week 1, we took... First off, I'm going to say there's going to be no battles for Week 3. We got a forfeit win for that game. And... We got... I think another game we're not going to show was a game that did not get the save replay, but we lost. That was, I believe, week three where we took on um, Eltraz. And we got screwed over with Para and misses, 10% misses, and lost the game there. Um, pretty, then I think we got forfeit wins for one or two teams from those as well. Yeah, we got two forfeit wins, I'm pretty sure. Two forfeit wins, so yeah. I have organized these from weeks one all the way to the rest of the weeks. So, yeah. So, you won't be seeing the battle for week three. The battle did happen. We lost. But we did get two forfeit wins this season. So, let's go over this season as a whole. First one, we took on Aqua. Um, uh, I think it was Aqua or Aqua Steve or something like that. He left the lead actually about around week two or week three. So, yeah. So, this was our week one matchup here. Um... I'm not gonna try to remember. I don't really remember a lot of things, but okay. So basically, I lead off with my Drapion. He leads on with big dishes here. Um, he actually goes with a Hurricane Rawl. I believe that was a Salt Vested. Uh, what's his name? A Salt Vested Electivire here. As I go for the Earthquake, as he brings out the Savali Steel, which I was kind of surprised about. In comes the Dragonbolt, and I unfortunately sack this thing. I should have probably saved it. He's going to D-Dance here as I'm going to go for the knockoff. He reveals to be Cobra Berry, but I'm just going to click knockoff again. There's nothing that stops me from just killing this thing right in front of me, and bam, I got the kill. Drapion a beast. In comes Jolteon. I'm so sad to see my child have to fight me. But I bring in my Gardevoir, and my Gardevoir is pretty much free here. Um, I just go for the Calm Mind right here. I believe I click sub knockoff type for poison. You can see how much that does. That is crazy how much damage that does. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what, I'm just going to step another Calm Mind. He can wish all he wants, but I can just chip him down. And that just proves how strong Gardevoir can be, guys. Like, I honestly did not expect Gardevoir to be that strong to do that much damage. As I'm going to Hyper Voice, he's going to click Wish here. I'm going to actually go right into my sl my Slasher click Liquidation here, as it was pretty much free 100% of the time. So, I'm going to my Skazzer. I'm basically trying to sack that thing off. I'm not... He's going to Baneful Bunker me. Really good prep on his end right there as I'm going to click Knock Off. I'm just going to click Knock Off again. There's no way to do that. I bring in Politoed here um, just because I can see Drapion still putting in some work here. As he's going to click Protect here, I'm going to click Ice Beam here. And I believe I make the I make the double out as he clicks U-Turn here into the Jolteon. I did not want to risk that, so I go for Staunch. Get the crit 
which is huge because now I can go for a psycho cut. I'm pretty sure. Yep. And with that, I don't get poison because that is not actually a contact move. He's actually going to just stall out my things here again. So now I'm in a situation where I click Stone Age or I click Psycho Cut. I'm just going to click S SD right there. And now basically this game is GG. Well, not entirely GG, but it's basically GG. So now I'm in a position where I have to click Stone Age or Psycho Cut. I do click Psycho Cut and boom, get the kill there. I go into Skazers, sacking that thing off. In comes the um, Mega Pidgeot. I'm just going to sacrifice my Politoed, and Politoed, being the GOAT, gets the Scald, and he's actually going to go ahead and roost up. I'm just going to click, I believe I hit myself in Confusion, actually, which actually saves me here, because now I go into this thing, I click Stone Edge for free. There's nothing that stops me from clicking Stone Edge. That dies. In here, I click Liquidation, which always kills. That dropped, and Kabutops with four kills in week one. And that's what made me pop off about Kabutops. And I also just saw Kabutops in this match. I'm just being decimated to my opponent's draft. So, really, really like that for that move. Up next, we have week two here. And I'm going to switch sides in a minute. We are going against, I believe his name was... I don't remember his name off the type of my head. But this match was pretty much about a week late. It still got played. I mean, he had personal things going on, which I understand. But he really dragged out the personal times. And on the week, I think we would have gone the forfeit win was the game we played. So, is what it is. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start this battle off here. I'm going to go with my Durant. I go for the Iron Head. And I'm surprised I turned one just killed that thing. I'm really surprised he just didn't have, either he was scarfed or nothing. But that was huge. So, I go into this thing. I'm going to click Rock Tomb, which get lands. Durant picks up another KO. In comes the Superior. It's going to glare me, which really kind of sucks. As I'm going to click Iron Head because I believe I did not have a bug type move. I'm going to click Iron Head again. And for this week, Durant is just so well trained. Gets three KOs in its first set. Tapu Koko comes in. I'm going to run to my Electivire. He reveals the Brave Bird tech. Very interesting. I'm going to go for the Earthquake as he actually reveals Return. And there was definitely a miss up here. Whether I don't think he was paying attention or maybe he missed the rule there. But that was an illegal move. And he wasn't supposed to use that move because we don't use the cut moves that we are allowed. This was straight up technically Galar decks formatting with the moves that we currently have. We just play in the national decks format just because we can play Nivola. And obviously, there's like the net, like you can do something with national decks and stuff like that for guarantees. But that's why we do national decks, not legacy. I actually think this was a legacy. Yeah, this was a legacy battle. So maybe he messed up there. I don't know. Or something. I don't know. But, yeah. but it didn't matter right there, as I still kill this Tapu Koko. I point this out that he's not supposed to be doing that. I go into my Skazer here. I'm just going to click Knock Off here. As he brings in the Cryogle, I click Knock. Doesn't do anything. I think I just click Knock here again. He Ice Beams. Doesn't freeze me. I click Knock again. Get a second KO here. And at this point, he can't do anything. He goes for the Dark Pulses, trying to flinch me. I Knock Off, and I win this game with a 6-0. So, really big win up for there. We're starting this 2-0. But then, like I said, we lost 2-0 to that one week. Um, this, I think, was either week 4 or week 5. Because I think we got a forfeit win for one of these two games. I think. But this was Teddy. If you guys know Teddy, he's the one that we lost to a play roughness. And that screws us over. But Teddy actually had Sand plus Sun. Devastating weather combo. At this point of the time of the draft, I actually had dropped Glacier, which I believe I showed with the draft analysis, and I picked up Blaziken because I looked at this matchup and Blaziken just screamed super good and everything else. So, getting to the, this battle, um, I lead with Drapion. Super easy play on my hand. I 100% get to click knockoff freely, and that drill almost drops here. I go into my torn, torn for the predictable there. He comes to this. I click Knock Off here as he reveals to have the normal gem. I go right into Electivirus. He's going to click Volt Switch here. Um, he actually clicks Explosion, which was just in range for me to kill. He had up in max attack in order to get the roll. I'm going to click Knock Off here, and he actually is going to drop this. I'm going to click Knock Off again, predicting the switch. Lava Plume does not burn me. I'm literally going to click Knock Off. I think I was baited this week, I think, maybe. But in comes my Blaziken now, and Blaziken's about to wreck shop. As Blaziken goes for the Flare Blitz, it kills this thing. In comes the Hatterene, which was a little so... 
And right here, he actually did not realize I had uh, Torn. Um, he actually looks Nuzzle, which ruins my Wakamberry, which is a little funny. I click Air Slash here. Mystical Fires kills me. I basically sacked all Torn just because Torn doesn't outspeed anything anymore. So I'm just going to Flare Blades, get my second KO of my Blaze again. In comes the Torkoal, which I don't understand why he did that. Go over my third Flare Blades, get my third KO in this matchup. And now in comes the Venusaur. I have to go Durant here 100% of the time. As he clicks Sludge Bomb, really should have clicked Earth Power, and I missed First Impression. And down goes my Durant. And now I'm in a position where Rias comes in. I thought it was Trace, but I guess not. But I click Psychic, and down goes that Venusaur crit. I believe do not matter. In comes the um, thingy. But now in comes this, and it's just going to roost all me. I go for the Mystical Fire on the bank shot of lowering hit special attack. Because then Blaziken has a chance to live the hit. I click Thunder Punch. Now the KO, making up my four power hit with my Chuck Norris here. And with Blaziken, we get four kills with it, and we win this game 1-0. Revenge! And we beat a pretty hard team, in my opinion, which I think I'm really proud of how we played that. Up next, this is against Coach Chris. If you guys don't know, Chris is pretty much like a big rival against us. He is the one that beat us in that finals game. And we have been able to beat him. He's been able to beat me. I think at this point in time, we were kind of tied in this matchup. But... Wait, I think we're missing a game here, actually. Never mind. Hold on. We'll just... He actually was his last resort sleep talk. So, I'm not going to spoil this for you guys. I'm basically going to spoil it for these guys. I get 6 0'd. But I get 6 0'd by a Kamala. And. He did say he was sorry for going for the 6 0. And 100% of the time, I literally was okay with that. I literally had nothing for this mon. So, that kind of happened. I feel like, yeah, we're missing a game. Did I miss one? Or did that not go up? Oh, we placed, um, we also faced, I believe it was X Phantom. And he actually brought Block, Mega Venusaur, with Toxic, and Rest. So, really cool tech to stop by Weather, and he was able to beat us there. No, wait. Oh, I might. I'm spoiling these, I know. Oh, I must have accidentally clicked out of it and didn't bring it back up. Oh, and I can't do anything more. I can't reach. Eh, I don't really care. So, anyways, um, we were going against now Cardiff, and Cardiff has been an opponent I think we've been able to kind of handle. Um, in comes the Quagsire. I miss. Oh, that's not shocking. Oh, and, oh, nope, here we go. I, I missed another hurricane. Oh, surprisingly. Yes, yes, yes. See, this is what I'm telling you guys. This is why I don't like playing this league now it's literally because i'm getting screwed over so bad i click psychic here which actually surprisingly is going to nab me at 2 ako he actually clicks extreme speed i go for psychic get the ko on the Entei. didn't really matter there in comes lycanroc i bring in polytoad here so he goes for stone edge does over 50 percent he has to bank on a miss i go for the ice beam as he is i believe mega venusaur yes he is mega venusaur he clicks energy ball but now we're in the driver's seat here baby i click hurricane this thing is Specs. He can't stall me out. Goodbye, Glaceon, which I was very surprised he brought. Then he brings in this. I make the switch. He goes for the Stone Edge, which was a really good play on his end. I go in his. I click Knock Off here, actually. Reveal that he's Choice Scarf. He clicks Drill Run. I should have went for the Fighting Type move. I think I... I don't know why he didn't make the play there. I click Skull as he was Water Absorbed. I only clicked it just because I thought he wasn't. I click Toxic there, he clicks Toxic, it's a Toxic War now, but I think at the end of the day, I'm going to win this. I bring in my Drapion, as he actually reveals Rest, and at this point, I'm really annoyed by this thing. In comes Croak, which is this, I bring in my, my Gardevoir, and my Gardevoir is not really that useful to me anymore. I click Hyper Voice, he goes this, I click Psychic, and very surprisingly, he stayed in and took that. I have no idea why he took that. He clicks Rest, and he got sleep talk so he just dies in comes Lycanroc I sack this I bring in my Politoed and basically win this game with Kingdra there's no way if ands or buts about it that Kingdra does not win I believe I was specs this matchup too so at this point in time it's GG's it's over and we win this game 3-0 big 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 win up there for us so we're pulling really really good now and now this, I believe, was the last week. I think this was, I think, a win and out type of thing if we lost this game. 
we had a shot at playoffs, but it was like a 5-5 record. So it kind of came down to that. If we won this game, we 100% guarantee playoffs. Um, he actually brought Electrode, which I was not really expecting, but there was a possibility I would really didn't expect that. He has Mega Gallade. He brought Cactron, which I actually was very surprised he brought. I'm very surprised. He brings in the Electro, goes into the Cactron. I click Cross Jump, and that thing just died turn one. And now I go into Gardevoir. He clicks Poison Jab. Amazing prediction on his end right there. That was a really good prediction. I click Knock Off here, and he's bleeding. Leftovers. I go right back into my Overdrive now, and I'm in a good position here, but now I'm going to run right into Typh Typhoon. Very risky play on my end, but... He actually reveals Protect, which is very interesting. He clicks Drain Lunch. I live on one. I go for the Thunder Punch. Get the chip right there. I believe I was actually going to guarantee live that Drain Punch. But now I bring Typhoon. And I click Nasty Plot. And now it's time to just kill things. So I go for the Hurricane here as that chunks his White Raven. Um, I go for Focus Blast. And of course, it's not me unless I miss. I go for the Thunderbolt. He goes for Thunder. I live. I go for Focus Blast. Down goes the Electrode, and boy, baby, we've definitely been running a Wakam Berry a lot on my mons lately, so that's a big thing. I go for the Weather Ball, it does over 50%. I just click Weather Ball again, but actually I bring in my Kingdra. One time I don't bring Family Duty Mutes. He goes for the Fake Out, which is really good tech. I click Dragon Pulse, and that is a very defensive Blastoise. Blastoise also brought Rain Dish. Really, and sorry, sorry you guys are hearing a cat. Cat wants attention. That was actually really good tech on his team, on his end right there. He was fake out, toxic, protect, and water type attack. So, he was stall, and don't we all love stall? So, income slasher, I'm in a position where I can still do things. He clicks split turn, which is out. I go for a stone edge right here. I lose nothing clicking liquidation at this point in time. I click liquidation here, predicting him to do that. And we get a defense drop, which is huge. I go for liquidation again as he actually clicks body press. I live that super well because of a defense drop and basically tail it, basically exchanging my slasher for him. So now we're in a position here where he's going to click fake out, obviously waste a rain term. I'm going to click toxic. He's going to click toxic. He actually missed his toxic, which honestly I don't think really, really mattered in the lock game in the real long run, just because I pretty much had a sack off Politoed. So I bring in my Torn. I go for Hurricane. Like, there's no drawback from Hurricane in here. He lives. I get a crit confusion, and he hit himself. That was massive, because he would have been able to get that uh, rain turn on me. But I go for that. Kill this. He clicks Protect. Smart play on his end. He has to get double Protect to win this game. And he gets it. So now I'm in a position where uh, some things are scary. Also, ignore that. Uh, Shoutouts to... Uh, I actually raw click, raw click, Hurricane outside of the rain. And we pays off. Torn gets the kill. And we are going to the playoffs of the RGBL. So now we're in the semifinals, or the, the quarterfinals. It's a rematch against Chris, which honestly I was not looking forward to. But I was better prepared for Chris's team because of the fact I knew he was going to bring the exact same sit as they were working out well for him last time. So I'm going to lead off with my overdrive. He leads off with Garchomp. I'm going straight for that Ice Punch. Do not let this thing get any more set up than there he is. He actually reveals to be Yachi Berry as he goes for Stomping Hanshon, which actually was a roll, did not kill me right there. I go into Cel he goes into Celestial as I go for the first impression there. Very smart play on his end. As I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Palitude. He actually clicks Leech Seed, and he's a stall set. Uh, I bring in Tornadus as he brings in Sloking. I am taunting this thing, so it does not do anything. I'm going to click Nasty Plot here. He's going to click Skull. It doesn't really matter to me all that much. Hurricane is free here as he gets two Skulls. And now I'm in a position where I can click Hurricane for free. He makes a smart play and sacks off his Guard Chomp, which I think is definitely a play. In comes Greninja. That thing just screams Scarf to me. So I'm going to bring in my player here. As I click Outrage and drop that Slow King, I believe I was Choice Banded on this thing. So now I'm in a position where I'm stuck. I go for three turns, break his sub. He actually clicks Leech Seed instead of trying to go for an attack, which I think he really should have gone for the attack. He clicks Leech Seed here. In comes my Tornadoes. Now I'm in a position where I click Heat Wave. That does nothing, and he clicks Stun Edge, and it's going to kill my Torn, which is kind of bad, but it's not the end of the world. I bring in my Kingdra. I click Flip Turn here. Really wish I clicked Liquidation because I would have killed. 
he goes for the lead seat, and he's going to actually get a chance to set up a substitute. As I click for the ball and reveal that I am faster, surprisingly. But now we're in this cat game of cat and mouse. As I'm going to click Whirlpool and miss. And that miss absolutely sucked. But, but he actually decides to go for Stomach Champion to the second kill on me. I bring Claire. I'm free to liquidation spam against this entire team. And that actually did not kill the Vikable, sadly. And he's going to kill me. But you know what this means? Slasher comes in. I click knockoff, kill this thing. Now, I could have probably killed... Oh, this thing comes in. I click knockoff. I think I could have just straight up killed it, but I was not letting that thing get a choice man hit off on me. And I was willing to sacrifice my slasher. I click last... I click that. Kill this thing. He's going to click surf. And now it comes down to this. I have to click first impression. If I land this hit... I win, and we're going to semifinals. If Hustle screws me over, I lose this game, and I'm really never going to draft Duran ever again. Oh, another one I didn't up find was the when the Smashing Squirtles versus uh, me. That was another one I didn't upload up, up here on this. By the way, I got really screwed over in that matchup with my messes, and uh, I got really messed up on certain turns, and I got screwed. Absolutely screwed when I should have had one, 100%. So, yeah, I just realized that now, too. So, I land the first impression. I'm going to semifinals. Oh, what a game that was. Now we're in the semifinals going against Bonze. Banze, or Bonza, whatever his name looks like. And right now, I'm going into this game feeling pretty confident because he actually prepared... Oh, by the way, we actually had a little bit of dialogue talk, but I forgot Durant didn't have a nature. I I think I was supposed to be Jolly, and I think I clicked Adamant by accident. I think I was supposed to be Jolly, not Adamant. I think that's where I messed up on my set. I'm going to double-check that eventually, but um, definitely continue there. He looks flip turn, obviously. I actually just played this game, too, so he's going to bring the Zero Aura, which I expected to just... Be something. He gets play kick. He's 100% expert booted, and I think he's just like the Jolly. I click Brassy Glide here. I really wish I clicked SD. Not gonna lie, just because I figured I was gonna sack this here. I click Drain Punch, and actually, I am very surprised I was faster. He actually reveals to be launch. He actually has Yu-Gi-Oh theme nicknames, which I approve of. That's dope names. Um, Tarzan gets more health. He clicks Toxic right here. I was gonna click SD, but then I swapped, and I really wish I clicked XD. Because he's going to click Earthquake here again. And now I'm going to click Knockoff. If I don't get a... If I don't get a high roll, I don't kill. And of course I don't kill. And I'm going to lose my Skazzer here. And now I'm in a position where I click Agility. And I think this is where I messed up. I think this is one play I look back at. And I think I might have messed up. Because what I should have done is gone into either my Durant... I should have gone into my a Durant and agility with my Durant instead of going into my Kingdra. Because if I had kept my Kingdra for the late game, I would have been able to handle the Victini, the Zera Aura. I would have had something for Trishula, the Age of Purim. So actually looking back at this, I definitely made a misplay going into this. I also probably should have just went into Rillaboom and then either Grassy Glide or Drain Punch that turn or SD that turn. And then it would have been in a decent position, but I did not. And now I go in Iron Head. I wanted to click Iron Head so bad, but I didn't want to click Outrage. He took an extremely long time to make this play. He actually clicks Destiny Bond here. And now I'm in a position where I either trade this off, and I think I definitely made a misplay by trading this off. But in the end, I don't think it was a matter. He actually decides to switch out. Is I going to click Grassy Glide? I wish I clicked Drain Punch there, because I would have probably been out of range of an Ice Beam or a Freeze Drive from killing me. He actually kills me with Ice Beam, even though the Achi doesn't matter. Then goes my Blaziken, and he reveals to not be Scarf or Specs. He was sorry you're hearing a kitty. She won't leave. She won't leave me alone. But he was the sub roost set, but he didn't have roost, and he was a AV. So yeah. I have to get a, I have to basically get two flinch, I have to get like three flinches to win this game. I don't get it, and essentially this game is over. Durant, since I made it out of it, was not going to outspeed this thing. 
and uh, I was right in range of Earth Power. So, unfortunately, and also, I missed a Focus Blast, which, you know, it's just fitting that my season ends with a miss like that, dude. It's just like my, like my luck, but that was our season. So let's quickly go over the team that we had this season. First, the transactions we made. This year, I want to make this Pokemon work. I really, really do. I really think this is a great Pokemon. I am going to make this work one day. I just know it's good. I just really know it's good. I just got to find the right ways to build around it. Mega Aldino literally was on the team just so I can get points, and then I swapped it out. It's a trash mod. Ditto. I think it was Ditto was kind of okay and interesting for us to have, but I just think it was not the mod they wanted. This one, I think, was definitely a bit of a miss, miss, miss problem I had. I don't think I should have... Because, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I really did not like Rillaboom this season. I, I could not bring it to games, really. This was, like, the that was like the second time... like that. Technically speaking, that was the second time I ever brought Rillaboom. Because the first one was against Squid. I would have brought it against the teams we were going to face, but those teams forfeited. So, yeah. But Dragovich, I think, was definitely a massive, massive misplay on my end from dropping. I should have kept that over Rillaboom, and maybe have dropped Rillaboom keeping that, I believe. Like, that definitely was a big miss problem. And then Thunderous, I originally was not drafting this. It was 100% grabbing Tornadus, because Tornadus was still sitting there in round three. I was scooping that up. But I guess my tired brain accidentally put Thunderous when I meant to say Tornadus. So, otherwise, I actually would not have been mad to have Torn Thunderous on this team, too. I think it would have been really good. That was not the mon of choice for this game. So. Let's go over the team. Obviously, the bottom on. Honestly, I, and I should have fixed this one real quick. Uh, Ludicolo only came to one game. Ludicolo didn't do anything else this season. I think there could have been some chances we could have brought Ludicolo, but I just don't think in the end of the day we had the right team for Ludicolo. If I had Swamper, I think that would have opened up the doors for Ludicolo to kind of shine a little bit on this team. Um, but... I just don't know. Rillaboom, I don't think was actually really that good. I, I think it's a great mod. Don't get me wrong. But generally speaking, I just I don't think I'm gonna draft Rillaboom again unless it's gonna I don't know. Rillaboom's just I don't know, it's a hit or miss Pokemon, I feel like for me. Gardevoir for the first time after finally wanting to use it. I think did okay. Sorry if you keep hearing me else. This cat will not stop wanting attention. But um Overall, Gardevoir, I think I need to try one more time and see how well I do with this. Because otherwise, it, it was okay. I don't think it was the greatest or the worst thing out there. It was definitely a good mod, don't get me wrong. But I think I just have to try it again just to see if I can really appreciate it. Politoed will always be the best weather setter ever and will always be one of the best mods ever out there. I love Politoed. It's really, really great this season. Obviously, it doesn't make the main roster because, again, it's just really a support book. But it has some tech, and maybe next time I'll try to use some tech probably to next time. Durant just makes it out of here um, for two reasons. One, it's like one death away from tying with one of the mons. And two, this thing missed so many important moves this season, it's going to be put in the lower round. Now to the main MVPs, and I actually didn't properly, probably adjust these. Um, let me think about this here. I think, honestly, I'm going to put him here, and I think we'll keep him right up. Drapion makes it to the bottom, just because Drapion did have a better kill-death ratio type of thing. Also, it did kind of help. I think definitely keeping Drapion also around in the uh, semifinals would also been really good for us there. I probably should not have taken that risk and swapped out, because I did have Dark Pulse. I'm pretty sure I had Dark Pulse. If not, I mean, the Heatran, I mean, the Heatran. The, um... Metagross, I don't think it was not been that much of an issue versus me. And plus, I would have known if I had a Meteor Mash or then Headbutt, especially if I was staying in. Uh, Blaziken also just barely outpaces it, just for the fact that Blaziken put on a strong showing with that four, with that four roll sweep. There were other instances where Blaziken could have done work, but my opponents just made really weird and, not gonna lie, kind of some dumb plays against Blaziken, like the Rock type staying in when I lived in a Stone Age. Like, I don't understand that play type of thing, but Blaziken, I think it's definitely a mod I want to get back to. I think it's definitely an interesting mod, and uh, I'm really hyped so I'm going to try it again. Electivire, I keep using this thing so good, man. I love this thing. This is becoming like a top five 
almost like top five. Definitely top ten electric type for me in the format. This thing is so versatile, dude. This thing from offensive to deep, some pseudo defensive to be defensive and offensive at the same time. Assault Vested was definitely the main item we wanted to bring in this season. I definitely wanted to think about running specs one season. Um, special at one point. Uh, definitely bring something like Choice Band was definitely something I wanted to do as well. But overall, this mod just, it was so good, dude. So, 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 so good. I love this thing. I would love to redraft it again. Kingdra under rain. What can you say? Kingdra's a beast when it comes to it. And I think Kingdra overall, because obviously I think some kill deaths were not obviously accounted for for something. So, but overall, Kingdra, I love this thing. It was really nice, really fun. And um, overall, I think it was very interesting. So, definitely something to want to think about drafting again in the future. The mod that I think really surprised me the most in terms of what it did. This thing was amazing. We didn't get to use it a strong amount of time when we had it, but this mod was amazing. I love Kabutops, and if ever running rain again, Kabutops is 100% going on my rain team just because of how good it is. I really think people sleep on Kabutops, and I think Kabutops is just going to be a fantastic Pokemon. I would actually like to try it in low tier slash in regular format just because I think it could be so versatile, especially with Red Spin buff, and also I just think it's a really good mod overall. And the MVP of the team, I think, just barely, just because it had some very important misses this season, but I think just barely holding up the MVP was Torn. I think Torn just put on a very good time of pressure. Torn came in the, I will say this, Torn came in the clutch when it was needed to become in the clutch. I will say that. Um, Torn, like, in that, fi in that final week game, where it was week, I think it was week 9 or week 10, Torn came in the clutch for that game, 100%. Like, and just overall, Torn was a, amazing. Dude, I just overall think Torn's great. I can understand why people say this is one of the, if not probably the best mod in Gen 8 formatting. But I definitely want to give Torn another try. I think this is my second go around with Torn. This was definitely a better experience with Torn than the first time around. I think I kind of know how to want to use Torn a little bit. So definitely want to experiment a little more with this. Definitely want to try physical Torn at some point this season, next season. Yeah, that's the recap of the RGBL movie. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you haven't already. Let me know which mod you thought really to put up the work in based on the replays. And also what mod you think of this team I should 100% redraft again. No matter what if I say about it and all that. So, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Join the Pro Shocker for your day. Continue to the crew. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.